Hello everyone, and welcome back to Everlasting Abundance. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Uh, okay, it's a cutscene, yeah. We're making food now. <laughs> what do we got, like, croissants, eggs, and coffee, and ham, I think? I really don't get why we had the exact same dream, though. I mean, what are the chances of that happening? <clears throat> I don't know, big bro, but I think it's awesome. Yeah. By the way, when we were fighting, did you feel like you were getting stronger somehow? Yes, and it seems like I was getting better at doing that magic thing to heal your wounds. I see. I wish I could do it in real life. Indeed, it would be pretty useful. So, big bro, tell me what happened after you waked up. Well, because of the conversation we had with Dad in the dream, I decided to join the Circle. Yay. Then Mia, Ryan, and I had our first mission together. That's so cool. Are you and Big Sis going to save the city? Will you make the flowers grow back? I don't know about the flowers. Oh. But with the help of the Circle, I should be able to find better medicine for you. I might even be able to fully cure your illness. Big bro? Yeah? Kyoko? You think it would be easier for you if I just stayed in the dream? What? Where the hell did you spend, um, did you spend the night? Were you flirting with that little bastard again? None of your damn business, Norm. Even if, uh, you're a fi if, uh, you're a failure, you're still my goddamn daughter. Everything you do is my business. So what if I was with him? What are you gonna do about it? By the way, he's ten times the man you'll ever be. What did you just say? You're gonna show me some respect or else. Or else what, Norm? Or else what? You know exactly what, you disrespectful piece of shit. <laughs> Please, sweetie, just listen to your father. Shut up, Edna, you're... Don't touch me, Norm. Get away from me. Poor big sis. Can we do something to help her? I don't think we should interfere. I don't like it either, but it's really none of our business. Just cover your ears, okay? But they're fighting because of you again. Big sis's papa says you, um, that you're bad. You should show him that you're not bad. Please. Alright, I'll go see what I can do to help. Yay, thank you, big bro. Game dog. Hey. What the hell are you doing in my house, you little bastard? He's obviously here to show you what a real man is, you stupid moron. I just think it's uh, gone too far this time. Please, you guys have got to calm down or someone's going to get hurt. What happens under my roof is none of your business, bastard. Game Dog's my lover. Everything that happens to me is his business. Oh dear. So that's the way it is, huh? I knew this would happen someday. You're here to kill me, aren't you? You stole my daughter and now you're, um, you'll kill me and take over my home, won't you? No, I really want everyone to chill out. I know exactly what your plan is. You're completely delusional, Norm. Am I now? Look at what I found in your room. M2. You were going to use that piece of junk to kill me, weren't you? Don't touch that droid, you paranoid moron. Or else what, Mirai? Or else what? No, stop it. Sir, please stop. Mirai was, uh, has worked very hard to build this. Shut up, I don't give a damn. So Mirai, are you going to show me respect now? Are you going to be a good girl for once in your worthless life? No. You little... You're done have um, you're done having your, your way. Not, not this time. And never again. Sweetie, please, calm down. Screw you, Edna, I'm through with you too. All you've done my whole life is enable him. You've never defended me even once. Sweetie, you know that's not true. Yeah, it is. Every time he, th uh, he treated me like I was trash, you said nothing. Just like that. Every time he hit me, you just sta uh, stared with that stupid looking on your face. Just like that. Every time you didn't want to sleep with him, you'd let him sneak into my room at night. You'd let him do whatever he wanted to me, and the next day you just deny it ever happened. We're going that dark? Oh my god! Sweetie, please, you know that never happened. Just like that. Every time. You know, that's true. There's no way you've, uh, you've never heard me scream for him to stop. You just don't give a shit about me. Are you done lying now, you ungrateful brat? All I've done for you... All I've done for you, and that's how you thank me. 
You've de you deserved every single punishment you've gotten in, in your life. I should have pushed your mother down the stairs when she was pregnant. I knew that nothing good was going to come out of there. Jesus! I should have strangled you while you were passed out drunk. M2, quick, go to my room. Hell no, you don't. But, oh my god! No! I'm gonna kill you. You'd have to, um, you'd have the ner- um, you'd have the nerve to hit your father. Mirai. Do it, you failure. Kia. Oh my god! Honey! Honey, please, are you hurt? So you do want to kill your father after all. Honey, you're bleeding. Let me look at it. Don't touch me. You brought that failure to life. You're as guilty as her. Honey, be reasonable. You're badly hurt. I said don't touch me. Ah! Edna. Edna! Do you see what you've done to your mother? It's all your fault. Edna. Mira, are you alright? Go call the guards. I'll stay here and make sure Norm doesn't escape. Got it. What is the address of your emergency, valued citizen? Unit A2. There's been an accident. At least one life is in danger. This is an accident, accident involving a possible crime. Yes. Sending a judge right away. Thank you for making Everlasting Abundance a safer place, valued citizen. Pride and accomplishment. Pride and accomplishment. What happened, big bro? Is big sis okay? Yeah, Mirai's alright. But her mother might not be so lucky. Oh no. I've got to go back there now. I'll tell you more later. Okay. They sure came fast. Yep, and I already told the judge what happened. Good morning, young man. I am Judge Fred. I'm worried they're gonna recognize us. I was sent to resolve this case. Wait, I thought the judges were the boxes. Uh, good morning, sir. I heard from this young lady that you witnessed the event that transpired here. Yes. According to her, the suspect destroyed her droid, hurting himself in the process. His wife approached him to tend to his wounds. He then proceeded to push her down the stairs. The fall killed her instantly. Ooh. Do you corroborate this young lady's account of the events? Yes, sir. Good, that's more than enough evidence for me. Deplorable citizen Norm, you have been found guilty of murdering valued citizen Edna. Oh, okay. You are hereby sentenced to mining of 76 tons of ore from the lower district. Maybe the or the origin cube may the origin cube have mercy upon your head. What? But they're lying. It's all Mirai's fault. She attacked me first. Take him away. No. Thank you for making everlasting abundance a safer place, valued citizen. Pride and accomplishment. Pride and accomplishment. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? I mean, even though you hate her, she's still your mother after all. I don't care. She got what she deserved. As for Norm, I can only say good riddance. In fact, I wish that asshole had been sentenced to death. Whatever. At least I won't have to suffer his abuse ever again. About that, I assure it happened before the hole in our wall because I never heard anything. I didn't know it uh, was this bad, so I'm sorry for what I said earlier. That's okay. Anyway, you can't side with Edna ever again. By the way, when you said you were my lover, when I said you were my lover, that was just to piss him off. It's not like I like you or anything. Oh, come on. Of course, I totally knew that. So what about M2? Will you be able to fix it? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. It's in pretty bad shape. It'll take months to find all the parts I need. It's that bad, huh? 
listen, I'm gonna, uh, come live with you, okay? What? I mean, why? You know, I only have bad memories here. I feel a lot better in your house. Is that a problem? No. I mean, I do have a free bed and everything. It's just, just what? Just so sudden, I guess. Oh, come on. Actually, you should feel lucky to have a girl like me living with you. Just don't get the wrong idea, alright? I'd only be your roommate. Sure. Well, it's fine, I guess. But you do know you'll have to get a, um, along with Kyoko, right? Yeah, I get it. It shouldn't be too hard, should it? No. No, I guess not. Then it's settled, then. Let's go uh, get my stuff. I can't wait to see my new bedroom. Oh, okay. I haven't really looked around her house at all. Oh, God! See, I have to move in with you. It's gonna stink in here tomorrow. They didn't clean out the body? Jesus. Kinda surprises her room, but I guess that makes sense, because the hole is right there. I doubt we're gonna have a chance to come back here. I might as well look around first. I don't need to use all her appliances. <laughs> Does this item have a description? And not really. Good morning, big sis. Don't call me that, Kyoko. I'm not your sister. I know, but my name is Mirai. Of course. Sorry. I mean, sorry, Mirai. Good morning, Kyoko. Let's have a seat, you two. Okay, big bro. So, Kyoko, yes. Mirai will be staying with us for a while. For real? Yes, for real. Ah, that's awesome. But how come? Is it because of the fight you had? Is your mom okay? Let's just say that there's been an accident. Unfortunately, Mirai's mother passed away. Oh no. You must be so sad. Actually, I'm rather relieved. Edna was very mean to me, and I couldn't stand her. But Norm is gone as well. He's still alive, but I wish he was dead too. That is very cold to say in front of her. But all of this is so sad. How can you not feel bad at all? Well, that's just how it is. I mean, I know what they did, but like, Jesus Christ, that's not something you should say in front of her, maybe? You need to deal with it. All right, you two. Let's just keep it um at, their, at that for now. Kyoko, Mirai had a very rough morning and she didn't sleep much last night. Please be understanding. Okay. Well, I guess it's true that my face is tired from dealing with everything. I'm gonna go try my new bed, if you don't mind. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. Don't worry about it. I'm sure she'll feel better when she wakes up, if you say so. But I do. By the way, big bro, will she be sleeping in Mama's bed? Yes, of course. Is that a problem? No, it's okay, I guess. Come on now, I'll clean, I'll clean up after you. You go to your bed and rest. Okay. Then it'll be my turn to take a nap. Rest well now, I'll see you later. Hey, bro, yes? What if we have the same dream again? 
If we do, then I'll make sure to protect you. Nobody will hurt you even in a dream. Okay, I trust you. Sleep tight now. Oh, okay. Oh! Yeah. Don't touch me. Sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to. I thought you were sleeping. You could have locked the door, you know. Right. Locks. I forgot you had those here. You know, I would never touch you just like that. I mean, not without your consent. Just get the hell out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a dream sequence. Probably not. Actually, is that Candy Crush? Is that Candy Crush? Goddamn. Candy Crush reporting, sir. You summoned me. Ah, yes indeed, General Crush. How are things going with, uh, your new prisoner? Have you been able to make him talk yet? Unfortunately, the maggot still hasn't re uh, revealed anything, sir. But no worries, I still have many tricks up my sleeve. In the end, it, it will confess one way or another. Just like every other maggot I had ple uh, the pleasure of questioning. I sure do hope so, General. You've succeeded in the past, but... For your sake, I suggest you do not make this your first failure. No, sir, I won't, sir. Good. So what do you think? Are, th are these rebels you encountered really part of the circle? I have no doubt about it, sir. Their methods are the same as they were in the past. Once I get the maggot to confess, they will reveal the location of their base soon after. I trust your judgment. Whatever happens, we must crush these rebels before the people hear about them. The last thing we want is an inspired crowd uprising. We must avoid this at all costs. Should that happen, we would uh, only need to create a certain high-profile event and blame it on them. Public opinion can easily be swayed against terrorists. I like the way you think, General. Please call me Counselor Crush. By the way, sir, are you going to sp uh, spar with me soon? I want to see how powerful you are in la at last. Destroy the circle first. Then, when, uh, when they are no more, I shall show you all my strength. It's a promise. I've wanted this for so long, I can't wait. Patience, General. Patience. Oh, yep, here we go. You know, at first I thought these, like, dream sequences which is the game being weird and abstract. But now that they've, like mentioned them several times, and even Kyoko's brought up that we share dreams, I'm starting to think there's a deeper meaning to these. <clears throat> Big bro. Kyoko, you're in my dream again. No, you're in my dream. I guess it's another way to put it. But what, uh, were you doing? I'm, a I'm after Mama. I saw her just now. Really? So it's Mom this time. Where is she? She went through that door I came from. Alright, let's try to catch her. Stay close to me. Okay. What's this white, uh, this white thing that's falling from the sky? I think it's called snow. Mom told me about it once. It's beautiful. All our white levels are the same, too. <laughs> oh! What are these things? Oh, 
Oh, you're frozen. Uh, nothing, okay. What are these sprites from? They look really familiar. Sword and Rod, okay. Oh, what is that?
Let me just do the same thing again. Where is it? There we go. Oh. I feel like we're coming up at the yeah, coming up on the end of this area. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Our mom looks awesome! <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> well, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.